I prayed to see the face of God, but Friday was cold and dark. On Golgotha's hill where the shadows grew long and death seemed strong and shame lingered on in the anguish of the tall crosses that pierced the vacant sky. The grain of the cross stood as dense and as thick as the sacred veil at the temple's edge. The holy reminder that access to God was limited. I dream of you, O oh Lord. In the sweetness of summer days, I long for the shadows. In the cool of winter nights, I ache for the sun. But even as the lengthening shadows announce the arrival of ever more light, I wait for your faithfulness to be proved again. The eyes of the sky opened and shut, and the rain came down in torrents, and carried away the blood that streamed from his hands and his feet. From that cross on Friday to the tomb where he was laid, the Magdalene journeys amongst the graves, unaware of the miracle happening beneath the surface. That ancient curtain, a sin-safe wedge between God and his children, has rent and torn as death quakes. At the finished anthem, he makes his sacrifice complete access to the Father grant. Angelic whispers echoed in the morning air. Do not weep, for he is not here. The empty wound in the earth proclaims that new life has emerged. Sin's power is undone through this empty cross and borrowed grave. A symphony of grace breaks out into a broken.